making videos. I saw a few videos about Thai girls dancing at festivals up in the countryside. And I saw enough of them to make a couple of inquiries about what's going on here. And it turned out to be the key to telling the story about a neighborhood nearby where I live that I've been wanting to shoot a video about. I'm standing on a walkway uh, that goes over Ekamai Road, which is the central street through the neighborhood where I live, generally known as Ekamai. If you see those buildings off in the distance there, those kind of high-rise buildings, just beyond them uh, lies Sukhumwit Road, which is kind of Bangkok's main street. I'm, I guess, about a mile away from it, and I live in this general area over here. Now, if you turn and look in this direction, this bridge, this motorway goes over the canal, the San Sep Canal, which is a heavily traveled commuter way that I've filmed many times. And just un underneath that overpass is the canal. The other side of that canal is a neighborhood called Bang Kapi. And here is the canal underneath Ekamai Road, where I often go for long exercise walks. And this canal becomes a dividing line between neighborhoods where a lot of foreigners live, like me, and uh, the Bang Kapi side, which is pretty much Thai. You don't get a lot of Farangs and the living in the Bang Kapi side of the river or the canal. Now, I've walked this walkway many times, and I've become a little bit familiar with some of the uh, very local kind of uh, housing and, and neighborhoods in, you know, off the canal. When I've visited a Nom Pa, my girlfriend's sister, who I have uh, dubbed the Sexy Sister. So we have stopped and visited the Sexy Sister outside of her home. And um, it's just kind of an interesting neighborhood to me. And I, and I really wanted to do something about it. I was there also uh, about two weeks ago uh, filming a video uh, in, in that neighborhood in a Thai restaurant where I went with my family. Uh, after returning from a uh, three-week visit to the States, we all went out to eat there. And once again, I had this feeling of, re I'd really like to do a video here, but I didn't know what kind of story to tell about it. And herein is where the dancing girls came in. The dancing girls that I had been seeing on TikTok videos coming out of rural areas of upcountry Thailand are known as Morlam Singh which is the latest genre in an ancient tradition called Mor Lam, which means expert singer or something to that effect. But the new Mor Lam Sing is a glitzy kind of fast paced presentation of it. And it's reviving Mor Lam and it's becoming more and more popular every year. And it's happening a whole lot apparently in some of the upcountry farming villages. Um, around Thailand, and I, I wanted to know more about that. I start typing more lam and more lam sing into different Google search engines, and when I type it into Google Maps, Isan Lam Sing 2 pops up over in Bang Kapi, mere steps away from where Sexy Sister lives. And get this, she goes there all the time with her boyfriend, Tom, they're kind of VIPs at Isan Lam Singh too. Well, <laughs> I know where this video's going. And as the late night hours approaching midnight descend on the Ekamai side of the canal, things begin to quiet down. And certainly the character of the neighborhood changes at night, even more so on the Bung Kapi side of the canal, off in that direction. Let's go take a look. So I had to bring my advisors here to help me 
negotiate this very Thai place. When we first arrived, it was like any other kind of Thai nightclub or what we used to call discos. And it was a very fun and festive atmosphere. I was kind of enjoying it. The show started at about midnight and opened with a bunch of guys that look like a reincarnated version of Canadian Mounties wearing fiery angel wings and a little bit feminized. Well, yeah, that was the show's opener. The Mounties were followed by what looked like a troop of Vegas showgirls displaying their twirls and costumes and it was a whole lot of fun and through the rest of the uh, uh, hour-long show there were individual performers and uh, and and you know and duets and sometimes accompanied by showgirls and showboys who came back with their prince impersonation at least in the color that they were wearing and went on and on like that and I'm thinking this doesn't look like a you know a, a, an ancient storytelling folklore kind of expression to me but my girls and uh, and Tom you know, told me that this is kind of the Bangkok version of it, you know, and uh, they kind of you know, spiffed it up a little bit from its uh, its old Isan days of uh, of yore. But here's what really got me: everybody here was really having fun. This was one of the most festive environments that I've been in in a really, really long time. I had just a great evening. At one point, I was thinking back to the movie Titanic, for those of you who saw that. It was a pretty popular movie in its day. And and Jack, the uh, protagonist, uh, was a working class Irish guy, I think. And he, you know, hooked up with this high class girl and prevented her from jumping off the railing in the back of the boat. And he brought her down to a party in steerage of all of the working class Irish guys who were just having a good old time down below where none of the high so people were. Well, that's how I felt like in, in this place, in Isan Sing 2. I had a great time. It was a really nice night. And I learned something new about Thailand, this, this, this expression uh, called Lam Sing. And there's many different expressions of it. Last night's was, uh, I guess, the Las Vegas version of it, or I guess the Bangkok Las Vegas version of it. But I'm assured by my cohorts here that uh, uh, that there are plenty of different expressions of it around the country. They are called different things sometimes, but the rural expressions are what I'm after. And next week, uh, I'm going off to Lui Province, and uh, Boo Cow tells me that we're going to be able to find some. Uh, 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 more Lum Singh up in Loi province. Today we're just recuperating. We're all feeling a little bit under the weather after a night of partying. Uh, these are my uh, cohorts here. And we have a, a, a guest appearance by uh, P. King. He never likes to be in videos. Hello, P. King and his cute little girlfriend, Kate. It's a, a nice little addition to the, uh, to the scenery. So, uh, so yeah, that's my, uh, uh, that's my plan going forward is to find more expressions of more Lum Singh. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching, if you're still here, and I'll see you the next time.